Hey everybody, I'm Howard, and this is Otter's Retirement Court. Before we start today, I'm going to show the shirt. My dog thinks I'm cool. Thank you, Otter, for the shirt. All right, so let's let's talk about nutrition. And let me let me say first, before we do anything, uh, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not specialized in anything to do with those topics. I've read a lot about them. I have my own beliefs. I have my own preferences. And I'm going to talk about some of those things today. I'm not giving medical advice and I'm not making suggestions anybody do anything as far as ingesting anything that they don't already do without consulting their physicians. So that's my disclaimer. Let's get that out of the way. The next thing I'm going to say is a lot of you are going to be very critical of things I say, and I get that. I'm going to talk about some very controversial things in a very non-controversial way. But I understand that people are very divided on some of the things we're going to talk about. Even my wife and I can't agree on a lot of these topics. Uh, but I'm going to talk about it because I think uh, when you retire, your, your nutritional life changes drastically. And it's not just because you're retiring, it's because you retire you know, when you're older. And when you're older, your nutritional needs can change. But the first interesting thing is when you stop working, some of your eating habits will be very different. There's, there's to me, two kinds of people involved in lunches, <laughs> the way they, they, they treat lunches when they work. And there was the one group that pretty much went out to eat every day. And of course, they went out mostly for fast food. You know, some would go out to sit down restaurants, but it was mostly fast food. And in my opinion, not a very good diet, you know, filled with a lot of salt, sugar, fat, all the things that make food taste wonderful. Uh, oils, seed oils, you know, things that are a little controversial. Um, you know, so they, they may not have eaten healthily for quite a long time of working. And then they retire. So, you know, I'm sure a lot of you are in this category. What happened when you retired? Did you continue to go out to eat every day? Or because you retired, you want to spend less? You stop that. And then did you start making your meals, making more healthy meals? And then there's the other type of person, me. I used to, every Sunday, make my meals for the week and try to make them healthy. You know, make dal or stir fry vegetables or whatever it was and bring it for the week. A little boring, but, you know, I bring it every day for a week or salads, you know, whatever it was. And I, I ate pretty healthily and saved money, obviously. But then I retired and it was, and I mentioned this before, I seem to have gotten a little bit lazy and sort of gone the other way, taking short, I don't go out to eat, but maybe taking shortcuts and eating some frozen foods and, and things that, you know, may, may be slightly processed or have sugar and salt and fat and all those things that are bad for me. I try to watch it, but it happens. So, you know, I'd like to hear from you. How, 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 did, how did you make that transition? How did that change your lifestyle as far as eating? But now the other thing I want to get to is supplements. <laughs> and be clear here again, a disclaimer, I'm not selling anything. There's so many channels out there that sell supplements as part of their, you know, e even if that's not the topic of their video, they're selling supplements. I don't sell supplements. The other thing I want to say about supplements is most of them, maybe even the mass, vast majority of them, are not found to be scientifically helpful. That's not to say they're not helpful at all, but there's not a lot of studies that support their use for the things they supposedly help you with. That's not all supplements. Some supplements have been proven to be helpful. Uh, you know, the other issue is the FDA doesn't monitor these products before they go out. There is some aftermarket monitoring if there's problems. So, with that, uh, and <laughs> the obvious other thing is I'm not a woman, so I'm going to talk about things I do, and women may have special needs above and beyond or different from what men have. And, and, and the couple I'm aware of is um, menopause, menopause uh, causes women to have a lower need for iron supplements because they're not losing iron through blood. 
Um, so that, that may be a good thing. And if you're a woman in menopause, you may not see that as a good thing. I'm sorry. Uh, but th that's, that's one positive thing. The other thing is, you know, women have a, a more likelihood for osteopenia or osteoporosis, thinning of the bones. So they might have a higher calcium need than men. And often that comes through supplements. Um, the other thing is uh, women may need magnesium a little bit more than men. And, um, you know, I was going to show you a product, but I don't have it here. Uh, calcium magnesium is a popular combination of supplements that will come together. And, you know, they work really great. I, I've been using calcium for a long time because I did have a thinning of the bones issue early in life. And I'm just trying to maintain my bones. They're, they're much better now. But as, as a... Uh, you know, I took prednisone for a long time and, and steroids tend to cause thinning of the bones. So I suffered from that. I got better, but I continued to take uh, calcium. So, you know, let, let's talk about, you know, a few of the things I believe and maybe I take that, that are very helpful for me. Um, Omega-3 fatty acids uh, are found to be extremely good, you know, anti antioxidant. Uh, very good for the vision, too, and I'll talk a little bit about vision more later. Um, you know, there's, uh, I take it through flax seeds. There, there's many other, uh, you know, there's animal sources, fish sources. I take it through flax seeds. Um, you know, take about a tablespoon of flax, ground flax seed every day and just eat it. You can put it in your food, shakes, you know, whatever you want. Um, vitamin B12, I, uh, I, don't, uh, I, I don't eat animal products, so the one thing you miss from, from what you eat as a vegetarian or a vegan is B12, so I do take a B12 uh, supplement. Uh, there are synthetic sources, there are seaweed sources, so it's pretty easy to get B12. Uh, I usually test way off the charts for B12 because I probably take a little too much. Um, you know, I do take calcium. Typically, you take it with vitamin D. Uh, the, the vitamin D supplement helps your body absorb the calcium. And, you know, again, consult your doctor before you take any of these. So here's, here's another uh, few I take. Um, here's lutein. And, it, you know, it comes with something called zeaxothin. Pronouncing that wrong, I'm sure. Um, a few years ago, I was diagnosed, you know, I was starting to see blurry images in front, you know, like it was just a blind spot here. And they found some spots on my macula. So I had the beginnings of macular degeneration and, and cataracts. And it was, it was scary because I thought, you know, there's no cure for it and I'm going to go blind. Um, I, you know, doctor recommended lutein and I started taking lutein, double a normal dose, and it cleared up. It didn't, you know, the, the, my last check, they couldn't find the dots on my macula. Uh, my guess is they're still there and they're going to come back, but at least I'm able to hold them off. Um, you know, I used to take a different brand. I used to take Doctor's Best. And, and here's a very scary story. For, for about three years, I've been taking Doctor's Best. And it came in a little pill like this. And I took my Doctor's Best. And then suddenly, two, two three weeks ago, you know, I got my order in. And the pill looked like this. And I don't know if you can tell, but this pill is larger, it's thicker, taller, and it's a different color. And that alarmed me. <laughs> Why would it change color? Now, there are things on the bottle that say, you know, um, you know, some of the product's colors may change. But why is it a different size? And then we opened it up and shook out the powder, and the powder granules are different. They're a little thinner. And then, you know, you dip your finger in and just taste them, and there's a very different taste. And that alarmed me, so I, I contacted Doctors Best, and I asked them about that. And the first response was, well, you can't get a refund because you didn't buy it through us. I was like, I'm not asking for a refund. Uh, I don't think you realize how serious this is. And, you know, it took like 16 emails. Okay, send us pictures of this. Send us a picture of this bottle. Send us a picture of this bottle. You know, we can't take your word on the lot number. Send us a picture of the lot number. And I'm sending them all this information, and they're just stalling and stalling and stalling. And finally, they came back with, oh, you know, product colors may change. Needless to say... I will not order anything from Doctor's Best anymore, and I'm not going to take that lutein because it's clearly not lutein. And I will inform the FDA, and I'm filling out a form for that. And I, yeah, you know, I bought it on Amazon, and I put my review there and a picture of the powders, just to warn people. You know, this company's not taking it seriously. Uh, my guess, and it's just a guess, is they put the wrong bottle 
on a different pill line. And that's a different pill and there's something in there. If I could easily find a lab to test it, I would, but you know, that, that's proven to be a little tricky. Anyway, so another thing I like to take is zinc. Um, you know, I found out like 30 years ago, zinc actually helped me recover quickly from colds. Uh, zinc has become very popular with COVID, um, you know, helps hold it off. Um, I can't prove it, but zinc has helped me a lot and doctors will recommend, recommend it for colds and flus and, you know, just trying to hold off those things. Uh, I do take a probiotic. You know, I had a doctor tell me I used to get a lot of uh, sinus infections and he said, if your gut is healthier, you won't get those infections. So I, since then I've been taking a probiotic and my sinus infections went away. Uh, again, can't prove it. It's also really good for gut health. So maybe I'm healthier because of this and I'll continue to take it as long as that, those conditions stay away. Um, D3 and K2, um, as we age, we, we, I don't know if it's not, we don't absorb it as much or we lose it quicker, but D3 could be an issue. And my last blood test for the first time ever, I, I was deficient in D3. So instead of taking it three days a week, I'm going to seven days a week. Uh, also, also may be good and, and help, help uh, guarding against COVID or, um, or colds, anything else like that. And then I also take turmeric. Um, and the reason I take turmeric is because I have arthritis, which a lot of us now have. Uh, it's, an, it's, a, it's a real good natural anti-inflammatory. I used to add it all to all sorts of food, but that got a little tiresome. <laughs> so now I just take the tablets. Um, you have to get them with black pepper. For some reason, it helps the body absorb the turmeric. And you know, you wouldn't know that unless, unless you did a little research and a lot of them come with black pepper in them to help you absorb it. Um, also take cinnamon, um, not as much as I should. You know, that, that's anti-inflammatory, oregano, you know, antioxidant, blueberries, that's an antioxidant, all really good stuff. So the whole gist of this is that's what I'm doing. How have you found your nutrition change? Do you use supplements? Uh, have you changed your use of supplements since you retired? Have you gotten older? What are you doing? Why are you doing it? How's it working? Um, that's it. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. I'm ready for your comments. I, I know I'm going to get some real lash back at this, but that's okay. That's what this is all about. Having that discussion, talking about what we do and why we do it. Tell me, tell me I'm an idiot. <laughs> Tell me I'm smart. I don't care. It's a discussion that counts. So, so thanks again for watching and uh, subscribe, like, share, comment. Thanks. Bye.